Hello and welcome to PerthMortgageBroker.net.au um, Today I'd just like to talk briefly about stamp duty and how that works in WA and we're mostly um, relating to residential property. So <clears throat> there's a bit of a misconception that if you buy it over a certain level the stamp duty jumps up dramatically you know, as a percentage and it doesn't, it's, it's all scale. So if we look at a normal residential house and these are the rates in WA at the moment. Um, between zero and 120,000, it's about 1.9% of the value you have to pay in stamp duty on top of the purchase of your home. And it works up into a scale. So as an example, if you're buying a place that's worth in between here, let's say $350,000, then you're gonna be paying 3.8% on just that, in between that scale. And everything below that goes to the lower scale. So as an example, if you're buying a house that's worth $500,000, that falls within this bracket, but you don't pay 4.78, sorry, 4.75% in stamp duty. You actually pay on a sliding scale, and it works out to be about $17,000, which, uh, 17765 to be exact, which is 3.55. So you see it works on a sliding scale on that um, for residential properties here in WA. For the first homeowners, if you're buying a house, or a, um, an existing house, under $430,000, you'll pay no stamp duty. You do have to fill out some extra paperwork, we can help you with that. If you, if you pay for more than $430,000 but less than $530,000, it jumps up to 19.19%. So it jumps up quite quickly, and after 5:30, well, you just you're pretty much on the same you're on the same rates as everyone else. <clears throat> so, again, first homeowners, um, you can buy something that's worth a bit more than 4:30, but if it's only worth a thousand dollars more, it's only that portion that's going to be uh, charged 19% of a stamp duty, the portion above the 4:30 here in this example. So it works on that sliding scale. And just as a, as a side note as well, if it's a first homeowner's, um, you buy the house and land package, you, know, you pay a stamp duty on the land, and if the land is worth less than 300,000, you pay zero percent stamp duty. And if it's between 300 and 400,000, it's at 13.01%. So hopefully that explains that if you do go a little bit higher, uh, you can. It's only on that higher portion that it starts that the, the, the other higher scales start kicking in. But there are some limits here that eventually uh, sort of um, get a bit expensive for, so first homeowners especially. So I hope that explains a little bit more about stamp duty here in WA.